Okay, here we're going to prepare our USB stick to take the Windows files. I'll put a link for the website up on the screen and uh, what we need to do first is launch a DOS window or a uh, command prompt as it were. So we type in CMD. Now, the interesting thing here is we need to launch this in administration mode, so we do control shift enter instead of just enter, and that launches the command prompt. Now we type in the command disk part. This is disk partition tool in Windows Vista and Windows 7. D I S K P A R T. Enter. You can give it a moment to uh, pull the drives. Now we get a list of our drives, so we type L-I-S-T-D-I-S-K, that is list disk, and it will show our available hard drives. Now if you end up with a little bug where it shows free zero on your USB stick, try rebooting the computer. Um, it worked for me. <laughs> All right. Now I've already typed in the uh, clean for this drive, so what we do is we select disk 2, so S-E-L-E-C-T, disk 2, disk 2 is, type, uh, is now selected, we clean it, we type in the word clean, and it clears all of the uh, partitions and what have you. List disk, make sure everything's still working fine, it appears to be, and now we type in a little bit of a long command, which is create partition primary. Okay? So we type that in. C-R-E-A-T-E-P-A-R-T-I-T-I-O-N P-R-I-M-A-R-Y Hit enter. Disk partition succeeded in creating the specific partition, or specified partition, excuse me. Now, we select partition 1 by typing in select partition 1, S-E-L-E-C-T-P-A-R-T-I-T-I-O-N space 1, enter. Partition 1 is the selected partition. Now we make it active by typing A-C-T-I-V-E, active, hit enter. And the marked current partition is, is now set to active. Now. This is something you can't do in regular Windows. This is why you have to do this in a DOS prompt. F-O-R-M-A-T space F-S, that stands for file system. You hit the equals key, and you type in N-T-F-S. Enter. Now we pause the video because this takes about 20 minutes. And we're back. Our disk has formatted successfully, and it actually only took about meh, 10 minutes. Okay. <clears throat> uh, we'll just ignore this little pop-up that came up once the disk was formatted. And we will now. Format process may take a few seconds. Yeah, right, okay. We type in the word assign. I really don't know why, but uh, successfully assigned the drive letter. Oh, cool. All right. Then, well, let's move to drive G. I'll have to fix that later. I prefer drive H. Close that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. And we type exit. This will leave the partition bank. E-X-I-T. Arc. Now, the next step. Insert our Windows 7 Vista DVD into the optical drive and check the drive letter. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Be right back, folks. I have to go retrieve my disk from a family member. Okay, our next step is to actually make the USB stick bootable. Now, to do this, we are going to put the uh, Windows Vista disk in our DVD drive. 
and find out what the drive letter for the DVD drive is. Um, I already know what my drive letter is, but this is for your benefit. To find out your drive letter, you click on the Start button, go to Computer, and you look for the DVD drive itself. As we can see here, our DVD RW drive is drive E, and that currently has the Vista, uh, Vista, I keep calling it Vista, <laughs> that currently has the Windows 7 disk in it, and we are going to be working with drive letter E. Now we are going to want to change to the DVD drive, so we go E colon, and then we change directory to the boot directory. And now we type boot set dot exe forward slash nt60 and the drive letter of the USB stick. The drive letter of our USB stick is G. So we go back to the DOS window and we type boot sec dot exe space forward slash nt60 space g colon. Hit enter. Yeah, it's been a little hiccup there, but it worked. Okay, successfully updated NTFS file system bootable. So, well, boot code. Was successfully uploaded on all targeted volumes. Yay! Our USB stick will now boot stuff. Ain't that wonderful. Next step. The next step is... Copy your Windows 7 or Vista DVD contents to the USB flash drive. Please keep in mind this is not re, uh, this, this does not destroy your flash drive. You can use it as a normal flash drive after the fact without having to do anything very complex to it. Um, some older systems may not read the NTFS partition, but you can change that back by just um, doing the earlier steps. Okay, we're going to go to our DVD drive, we're going to open it, and we are going to highlight everything, right click, we're going to choose copy, we're going to click the back button, we're going to go to our USB stick, and now we are going to paste. And it gives you an about how many minutes, blah, blah, blah. We'll now pause the video until this is either complete or nearly complete. Okay, our files are on our USB stick now. And at this point, we lose the fancy screen capturing and go to a good old-fashioned camera. I'm going to attempt to do this with my Digicam. If all else fails, though, I will resort to the webcam. Sorry, folks, in advance, if we resort to the webcam. 